Watch this. Alligator hunter Christy Crowboat and an officer try to tie up this giant 12 and a half foot, 800 pound, 50 year old alligator. His eyes are covered up, but he wanted nothing of it. We tried to do a front catch with him where you hold the jaws and get him taped, um, but he was so big and his jaws were too big for my hands that I couldn't get my hands to fit around his mouth. She says she's licensed with the state and got the call from Sugarland Police early Saturday morning. There was a big alligator near Oyster Creek behind a strip center on 59 near Williams Trace. A big gator really close to people. We've tried several different attempts on how to catch him. Finally, we thought we had him wore out enough where we might be able to put two people on the back of him and hold his mouth that way and kind of outweigh him, which clearly did not work. The alligator is so big that they nicknamed it Godzilla. Once his snout was all wrapped up and his legs tied up, it took a forklift from the Home Depot nearby to load him up. And he still had some fight in him. Obviously, he just did a couple swats of his tail, no death roll or anything like that. So we all were able to get off safely, and then he did swat me with the tail. Now, keep in mind, all of this was playing out back behind this shopping center as people out here were going about their Saturday morning chores. Finally, I was able to catch him by the jaws and get him taped safely. Now, Godzilla is loaded up into a pickup. She says he will be taken to an alligator farm in El Campo, where he will live out his life. This dental assistant by day is glad to still have her life. Are you crazy? <laughs> Everyone always thinks that. I don't think so. I just love the animals. In Sugarland, Ryan Korsgaard, KPRC Channel 2 News. Watch that road. Ever eaten gator meats? Hey, I'm a yeah, she's got some. Oh, you mean you wait? You wait, you want to go home then?